What is up and welcome back to Viral Ed, where we create the best educational content on the planet. Don't forget to share our videos on social media, whether that be Facebook or YouTube, and most importantly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. Previously, we have discussed atoms covering what they are, what makes up an atom, the structure, and elemental equations. If you don't understand what these are or need a quick refresher, the video will be linked in the description below. Quickly before we start, I'm going to pose a question that will be answered near the end of the video. Once you have the answer, comment in the section below and I'll choose some answers to shout out at the beginning of the next video. The question is, what is an atom called when it has gained an electron? Today we are going to look at the forces in atoms that are responsible for the behavior of the particles and thus keep the atom together. Like we talked about in the previous video, the atom consists of three major particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. There are four fundamental forces in the atom, gravitational, electromagnetic, strong, and weak. Firstly, we will look at the electromagnetic force, which combines the effects of electrical charge and magnetism. It results from the repulsion of charges and the attraction of opposites. It is in turn the force that holds the electrons around the nucleus in the electron shell. This occurs as the center of the atom is positively charged and attracts the negatively charged electrons. Second is the strong force, which is the greatest of the four forces that holds the atomic nucleus together, counteracting the electromagnetic force and stopping the protons in the nucleus from exploding. Third is weak forces, which is important as they play a key role in the possible change of subatomic particles, stabilizing them through the process of radioactive decay in which a neutron in the nucleus changes into a proton and an electron. Radioactive decay is the process in which the nucleus of a radioactive or unstable atom releases nuclear radiation. Lastly is gravitational force, which is the force most familiar to us in everyday life. Gravity is the force of attraction exerted between all objects in nature. It is responsible for leaves falling to the ground or planets remaining in orbit around the sun. The amount of gravity between objects depends on their mass and the distance between them. Therefore, it is most easily observed in the behaviour of large objects. However, in the inside of a tiny nucleus, the effect of gravity is small compared to the other three forces. Next on the discussion is isotopes, what they are and some examples. Isotopes are variants of a particular chemical element which differ in neutron number and consequently in nucleonian number. All isotopes of a given element have the same amount of protons, but different number of neutrons in each atom. An example is hydrogen and the three variants. Notice that each of these atoms have one proton, therefore they are all types of hydrogen. However, they have a different mass number, number of neutrons. Lastly on the agenda is an ion. An ion is a charged particle that typically results from a loss or gain of electrons. There are two types, anion, which is a negatively charged particle, gained an electron, and cation, which is a positively charged particle, lost an electron. This atom of oxygen is currently neutrally based because it has an equal number of electrons, eight, and protons. However, if the atom gains an electron, the atom becomes negatively charged and an ion. But if the atom loses an electron, the balance is again changed and there is more protons than electrons, making the atom positively charged. So to sum everything up, an atom is comprised of three major particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. There are four fundamental forces, electromagnetic, strong, weak, and gravitational that are responsible for the behavior of the particles and thus keeping the atom stable and together. Isotopes are variants of a part particular element which differ in the number of neutrons, while an ion is an atom that has either gained or lost an electron, making it negatively or positively charged. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and watch the other videos listed in the description below. And don't forget, we create the best educational content on the planet.